A very good morning to you. Welcome to my thought for the day. Um, we are continuing with Luke 15, this beautiful chapter about three types of lost thing. Um, the lost sheep, one in a hundred, the lost coin, one in ten, and the lost son, one in two. Um, there's a progression here, you can see it quite clearly in the numbers. Uh, for the shepherd, the one sheep that is lost is of vital importance. I don't know if you ever watch some of these veterinary pro programs. We, we like watching the Yorkshire vet and the work and dedication that is put into helping one sheep that is having difficulty lambing or has broken a leg or something. The dedication put into caring for one when there's a huge number of sheep out in the field the farmer's concern for each individual animal is enormous, and so is the vet's. And this is a reflection of God's concern, God's great, great concern for the one that is lost. And of course, every one of us, at some point in our life, were lost, even though we didn't realise we were lost. We were lost. And the Good Shepherd sought us out until he found us, and he brought us home, and placed us within his flock. And it's, it's a wonderful picture of love. The picture, um, how many children's uh, rooms back in the sort of, um, oh, I don't know, days before television, I suppose, was on the wall, was there a picture of the shepherd with the, the lamb over his, uh, over his shoulders, carrying the lamb home. I remember there's a very famous painting and uh, it's just such a one, these, these stories are such wonderful reminder of how important each one of us is to God. And Jesus told these parables to highlight to the leaders, the religious leaders who thought they were in and were safe and were well established in their faith in God and keeping the law and following the rules and regulations. And they criticized Jesus for trying to bring the outsiders, the sinners and the tax collectors, the ones they would not have welcomed. He wanted to bring them in. He wanted to show them that God loved them too and that they could be found, that they could respond to God and they could become part of God's kingdom. And he was criticized. And he told these stories showing that heaven rejoices. So why don't you rejoice when people change and come to faith? And we need to rejoice when people come to faith, whatever the means that people come to faith. Whoever speaks to them or encourages them or however they find faith, there should be a great surge of rejoicing in us that people have found, have, have been found by the shepherd. The, the, the shepherd who had a hundred sheep, and we do know, I mean, I watch these vets programs, you know, um, a Yorkshire vet, and he, he goes to a farm and there'll be a cow that to me looks like every other cow in, in the farm, and this cow is in trouble, and... Uh, the, the farmer knows the cow by name, knows everything about the cow, knows its nature, knows whether it's a, a bit skittish or, or whether it's a calm animal, knows everything about each cow, knows, e knows each individual um, by name. And same with the sheep. You know, this bond, we are part of a large number, yes, a hundred, but... Uh, when someone new comes in, when someone is found, we need to have a very welcoming, joyful heart, welcoming them, in, welcoming them into the fold, as it were, or re the return to the fold for some people it might be. But Jesus is making this point with the, with the, t with the hundred, then the ten coins, and then the two sons. Um, it's always been called the prodigal son or the lost son, but I think it's the two, it's the sons, just like it's the lost sheep, 
The lost coin is the lost son. One in a hundred, one in ten, one in two. God's love for you, God's love for you is, a, is, is, is incredible. You are far more worth than a sheep or a coin. You are a son or a daughter and you are of great value. And if you have wandered from the fold, or if you've never entered the fold, never let the shepherd find you, today is the day of opportunity. Today is the day to let heaven rejoice over you when you allow yourself to be found, when you come out of hiding and you say to the shepherd, I want, I want in, I want into your kingdom. I want you as my saviour and Lord. I want to come home. I want to come, I want my sins forgiven. I want to come home. I want to come, I want to be forgiven. I want to know that peace. I want to know that security, that safety. And as he says, as he says, there's more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous persons who need no repentance. Wow. Have a great day. God bless you. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.